All right, so here we go. In Drive Champions, we are five wins straight. And we are on our championship game here. So we have two opportunities to go on ahead and uh, win this game. As you guys know, you're allowed uh, one loss. And you can finish the season fine. Two losses, season's over. So two opportunities, one game, one marshal, one man, one world, one fuck. Let's go. Let's see if we can get it done. So uh, we start off with getting the ball at halftime, which is always a nice little plus for me. Definitely enjoy uh, that advantage. As you guys know, that's one of the biggest advantages in Madden is getting the ball at half. And dang it, that's what we got. So uh, I noticed we're going up against a Marshall Falk, and I'm like, that's that's not what we like. We don't we don't like going up against Falk. He's a monster. How do I know? Because I got him myself. So look at this cheese right here. He does a cross screen, right? I figure we're good. We're good. We got plenty of guys there. Breaks the tackle. Breaks the tackle. Breaks the tackle, and then he picks up the first down. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. How, Sway? Come on with the not breaking through. Test that user. He is so disrespectful, though. As we come through with the interception to stop the drive, and you guys already know what I'm trying to do, man. I'm trying to fuck up right there. Not the best double juke by me. On fourth and one, hit him with a little bit of speed out, baby. You guys know I've been doing that since Madden. I don't know, for a while. So right here, we go back to the swing route to the fork. Nothing. Then we do a little inside zone. He uses that pretty well. Nothing. Then we go back to the run inside juke. And we make it a nice little manageable fourth and five. And then we go right underneath uh, to a nice little drag route. Speed out. And then uh, two-minute warning is here. Second and three. We want the Foxter outside juke. We get within the 10 yard line. Then we have a little read option. EJ media can go all the way. As we end up scoring the first touchdown of the game. Going up 7-0. Now, if he plays this card right, he has an opportunity to tie the game. Going to halftime 7-7. Seven seven. But obviously, we don't want that, right? We want to be able to uh, stop him going to halftime with a 7-0 lead. Or maybe even get ball back before the half and uh, try and score again. So... Third and one right there. We absolutely killed him, but he picks up the first down. Uh, he does have uh, basically Calvin Johnson and Marshall Falk. Other than that, though, nothing too amazing. Uh, right here, stands in the pocket, tries to toss it up to Calvin, and the ball is batted down. Second and ten right here, steps up in the pocket, goes deep, up, up, and Calvin had his hands on it, but thankfully he drops it. So, right here. It's a very big drive. We need to go on ahead and at least get in field goal range. You guys know I'm hitting LB so damn fast. I forgot I did it. Can Tavon Austin run his fourth back of the draft champion? Oh, he cannot, but gets us close to midfield. True clock is on, but he stops the run right there. Right here on third and 12. Ah, I couldn't get the ball off. On fourth and 12. Block shed by basically Muhammad Wilkerson with three guys blocking him. That's just how this game is. So uh, right there, we end up getting a sack. Very next play on second and 15. It just hits the flats and whoop, double juke the hell out of me right there. So he's in field goal range. He hits us with a toss on third and six. I definitely wasn't thinking he was going to do that. So good play by him. Hit him with a little bit of edge. Dang, baby. Put a little stank on it. So uh, right here on third and 10. Stands in the pot. Goes underneath. And that was a beautiful adjustment. I did put my safety in a purple. I did shade underneath. And I did highlight Calvin Johnson. All the things just came together to go on ahead and get that pick. So, uh, right here, we end up just hitting a uh, little corner right, right down the right side. We go to the flats. Not the best play by me. Oh, a little bit of speed option, baby. <laughs> if you don't make the adjustments, I'm going to keep doing that. I don't give a damn what you think. So, Marshall Falk right here. Plenty of running room. You notice I could have just kept running up. Maybe scored a touchdown. Uh, definitely got closer to the end zone. But I got to waste that time, man. I'm fine with kicking a field goal here uh, because we're just going to be able to waste some clock. So we kick a field goal, and I believe he did the smart thing by not wasting any of his timeouts. So he has an opportunity to get the ball back. So uh, what I'm thinking he's going to be doing is trying to get in field goal range as quickly as possible or scoring a touchdown and maybe a play or two. But um, nonetheless, he only has a minute, so he needs to get downfield quickly. So he's no huddling, which is expected. Uh, right here, he just chucks it up. You know, Calvin thinking he's going to save him, but thankfully he doesn't. Third and four right here hits the underneath routes. And I'm thinking right here he's going to kick a quick field goal, have about 30 seconds to stop me. But no, he decides to go for it. And then he wastes all of his time. And he ended up losing the game because he didn't manage the clock. Smart. Clock management, folks. 
Clock management can make a good player very bad. It can make a bad player good. If you know what you're doing with the clock, man. But uh, that's the end of that, man. We ended up winning. This is the legend pack that we got from winning our rewards. And we end up getting a 96 Jenkins. Then we end up getting our uh, quick sell pack. And then we also end up getting the um, DC badges, which I've already put some badges in 94 Hayden. So I'm, at, I'm probably never going to finish the Hayden. I only got 28 of them done. But nonetheless, that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. The draft will be coming up a little later today. And uh, don't worry for you Lizard Squad geeks. Got some Lizard Squad gameplay for you guys. See you guys next video. Peace!